Okay, we got another one today. Um, I've had this for a few years. Kershaw needs work. Um, I picked this up at Dick's Sporting Goods like I said, a few years ago. Um, it is their assisted opener. It's made by Ken Onion or designed by Ken Onion. Um, you see it's kind of a modified, looks like a sheep's foot blade, but it has a straight edge. So very easy to sharpen. It's almost the ideal work knife um, because of that. I, I one day uh, working on the roof, um, putting metal on the roof and putting foam insulation down. This is all I used. I didn't break out a utility knife to cut foam. Uh, long blade, so it does make it nice. And like I said, easy to sharpen. It only took a couple minutes to sharpen it that night. Um, it's uh, Sandvik 14C 28N stainless steel. So it does have pretty good corrosion resistance and doesn't wear very fast. So um, you sharpen us all the time. The, the blade should last you for, for a long time. It does have the assisted opener. Uh, the blade is about three inches long. Um, it says overall about seven and an eighth inches long. I kind of wish the blade, the handle was just a little longer. It's, it's just a little short, I think. I, I think just a little longer would have been fine. Um, and this is a USA Kershaw. If I can kind of get it in there. Kind of see it right there. Made in USA. Um, which I, I do like. It's one of the few Gerber Kershaws I have made in USA. Um, one feature that doesn't have that I do like is the ability to flip the pocket clip. It only sits in one place. Uh, I always like carrying mine tip up or the pocket clip to be sitting here. Um, but it is a work knife, it's not a tactical knife or anything like that, so you don't really need that. Um, it has a pretty straight blade once, I mean, when you're holding your hand, it is in line with, with your hand. It's not, if you look at the handle, you would figure the blade would kind of come out a little bit. It doesn't. It shoots back a little bit, so it makes it right. Um, you have a pretty good hold on this. It's a glass filled nylon handle. It has a little bit of a kind of get finger detents there a little bit of a ridge on there to hold um, so it's not too bad I haven't haven't used this in wet conditions or anything so I don't know how well it does hold but as far as anything uh, wearing gloves it's easy to open easy to close like I said speed safe so one hand open one hand close you can do that the blade is pretty thick it's about an eighth of an inch thick you can see kind of see it there it does have a flipper. There's no thumb stud on this, so the flipper does protrude through the top. Just give it a little push, and it will pop out. Um, all in all, I, I really do like this knife. I've used it for just about everything. Uh, cardboard, like I said, cut foam insulation. Easy to sharpen. I mean, you only have one plane to sharpen right there, so you don't have to worry about like a tanto where you got, you got to sharpen two different edges or, or like a recurve or, or a sorry a drop point or anything like that that has a curve in the blade where it yeah, may may have some points in there where they're not all the same this one you should be able to do one smooth uh, I usually do about five on each side do that a few times and uh, it, it is razor sharp points pretty good so you do have penetration if you did carry this as a personal defense knife it would work very well um, the, as far as anything, this is a work knife. It needs work. That's, I mean, that's what what it means. It, this knife needs to do work. It doesn't need work itself. I mean, I, I think everything's been put into this knife. It is very good. I uh, can't onion. I really do like his designs. Um, so I've always liked his designs. I've got a few. Uh, I don't think any of my Kershaws or any other thing other than can onion. Um, this retails on Kershaw for $64.95. I think I paid in the range of like $30, $40 for it. Like I said, that was a couple years ago, and that was a Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, so that may have been right at the time, or just may have been a deal. I don't know. Could be a cheap knockoff. But it does say made in USA, so I'm going to stick with the fact that it is actually a true Kershaw. Um, like I said, other than that, it, it's, it's a nice little knife. Little, I, I wish that, like I said, wish the handle was just a little bit longer to actually fit through my hand. It does. It, I mean, I like a little bit extra. My pinky just barely sits on there. And, but other than that, this would be a good, uh, it'd be a good camp knife. 
mainly I use this if, if we're doing any type of construction I'll carry this with me instead of my other pocket knives um, I pull this out in a flash rather than take a razor knife out and how to press the button open it up so this one is always with me when, I, when I'm doing any type of construction uh, drywall it works very well uh, it does dull the edge very quickly because you're cutting through that kind of stuff but other than that I can punch a hole right through this where you've only got a razor knife you only got maybe a that much of the blade sticking through this one I can I can jab through it all the way and make a quick quick opening if I had to or I mean you always have a keyhole saw for that too other than that a very good knife uh, in fact, like I said a couple of years I've had it so far uh, it's one, it is one of my favorites it's not going to be an everyday carry knife because I'm not going to carry it every day um, but if this was the only one I had yes it, it would suit me very well so uh, like I said I got plenty more where this came from just uh, keep the comments coming I do appreciate them and uh, I'll have another one here later on thanks